It's time for Monday Night Raw! Wrestling fans, welcome back to my channel, The X2 As Nice. We're going to be checking out the matches and making prediction for tonight's big show live from North Little Rock, Arkansas, live on the USA Network at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday Night Raw. Let's go over the lineup first. And then we'll do some analysis and give predictions. The show is supposed to start off with Cody Rhodes. He's going to kick off Monday Night Raw. Then we will also get the return of Gunther. We will also have DIY Ciampa and Gargano versus Dirty D and JD McDonough. We will also get Awesome Truth versus The Judgment Days, Balor and Priest. And then the main event, we get Seth freaking Rollins versus the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. So those are the matches that are announced. I suspect we're going to get a couple of matches that are unannounced like we always do. But unfortunately, we won't be able to give any predictions or analysis. I think we're going to see a match with Cody Rhodes. I think Cody's going to come out, um, which might lead us to another feud. Could be quite possibly Gunther um, confronting Cody Rhodes in that opening segment. Um, not sure if you want to get a Cody Rhodes and Gunther match on tonight's Raw. You've already got a huge main event. But I do think there's a great chance we get to see either Cody or Gunther in action based off of someone coming out, talking smack during their um, promo time, leading to a match later on. So... Keep that in mind. Now, we're going to have some predictions here. These are not for betting purposes, but for entertainment purposes only. We're going to make some predictions. Let's start off with DIY versus Dirty D and JD. I think this is going to be a good tag team match. I think DIY, Ciampa, and Gargano get the win here. Furthering the storyline of them getting that tag team title shot against Judgment Day. So I see DIY getting the win here. I think the second outcome you could see would be a disqualification where the rest of the Judgment Day come down, they're tired of DIY, and they beat them up, and it's a DQ. So there's your two scenarios that we're going to lay out. I think DIY gets the clean, clean win tonight, though. Moving along, we get Awesome Truth, Miz and our truth and we get more of the Judgment Day. Balor and Priest. Priest says, hey, we're, I'm going to take care of this R-Truth problem. So tonight, my prediction is Balor and Priest to defeat the Miz and R-Truth. Awesome Truth will be defeated tonight cleanly. Second outcome that I could see happening is Awesome Truth. Gets an upset win, right? Well, you say, hey, X2 is nice. There's only two scenarios. No, this is pro wrestling. There's lots of scenarios. You can see a disqualification, count out, stoppage, all, all kinds of things. But this is the second most likely thing. And let me tell you why. I think if Awesome Truth gets the win, it could lead us to a possible triple threat match between DIY, Awesome Truth, and the Judgment Day. So I'm just throwing that out there. But I think option one is what's going to happen. I like the Judgment Day, Balor and Priest to get the win. And then in our main event, you've got Seth freaking Rollins putting the World Heavyweight title on the line against former WWE World Champion, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. And I think this is going to be a great match. And this match has picked up a lot of steam lately. Over the last week, we had one of the competitors, AEW's owner, was getting criticized, I guess, on social media. People were complaining, oh, well, why is Hook getting a title shot? And then Tony Khan responds, well, how does a guy who doesn't win a match last year get a title shot on Raw? And that opened up this huge, huge debate online on the dirt sheets and on social media of, Tony Khan and Jinder Mahal. And Jinder Mahal, he's coming out ahead in all this. you got people like, oh, wow, I like Jinder Mahal. Well, now, I've always liked Jinder Mahal, even before this incident. 
I think this is going to be an absolute great match. I think it's um, the steam that's picked up now, the momentum of this match. Could it possibly lead to a Mahal victory? You know, when he won the title before, when he beat Randy Orton, people was like, holy crap. And I loved it. I was like, holy crap. He just, he just did what? He won the world title? Well, tonight he might do it again. He might shock the world again. So, hey, I'm... I'm one that would love to see it. I would love to see Mahal get a second world title reign. And hey, even if you had to take it back off of him next week in a rematch, who cares? How awesome would it be to see Mahal go over, get the win, and shove it in AEW's face, right? But nonetheless, how awesome is that? We got Seth freaking Rollins versus... Jinder Mahal, my pick, unfortunately, as much as my emotions want Jinder Mahal, I think Seth freaking Rollins retains his title tonight in Little Rock, Arkansas. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. We will be give, doing a figure giveaway coming up sometime closer to the end of next week, over next weekend. We're going to be doing a figure giveaway. It's for subscribers only. A figure giveaway contest. So make sure you subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope everyone stays warm and enjoys Monday Night Raw.